a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Scott. Be safe, be healthy. I'm in sheep's clothing. Let's go to the movies. Okay, I got what you're doing there. The movie, it's called <laughs> Wolves. Wolves, what do you got yes. for us? Wolves, currently in theaters and streaming on Apple TV Plus beginning September 27th. The title refers to two lone wolves who happen to pair up in this old-fashioned movie star buddy picture. George Clooney is Jack, a mysterious man who is called upon by Margaret, Amy Ryan, a New York City politician who finds herself in a compromising position with the kid, Austin Abrams. Seems like the kid has taken a header off the bed in a pricey hotel and now appears dead. And Jack is the fixer that Margaret is connected to that will take care of the body. Now, unbeknownst to both of them, the hotel itself has planted a camera in the room and has sent up their own fixer named Nick Brad Pitt to supervise the cleanup. When a cache of drugs get connected to the kid, the whole project becomes more po- complicated, and the two lone wolves are reluctantly going to team up. Now, this is boilerplate, dark side of the city type story with movie familiar encounters with a shady doctor, a comic wedding, which apparently takes place at midnight or so, and the usual double crosses and gunplay. But Clooney and Pitt have a relaxed chemistry, and their Butch and Sundance teaming has some decent moments. There's also a highly stylized chase sequence formulated by writer-director John Watts that is unusual in the sense that it is a man in tidy whiteies and he can run in the winter. (laughs) Now, this is a good ride, but it's definitely more of a streaming-level film than a theatrical experience. Wolf's three and a half out of five in theaters or streaming on Apple TV Plus beginning September 27th. 